Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, is this beer powerful enough to stop a locomotive? Uber Goober is an 8% Imperial Oatmeal Stout from Shorts Brewing Company in Elk Rapids, Michigan. If you've seen any of my past reviews on beers that claim to have either peanuts or peanut butter as an ingredient, you'll know that that peanut butter flavor or that peanut flavor really has to stand out in order for me to be able to taste more than just a, a fine kind of dusting of peanuts. Uber Goober is a yearly release from Shorts, and because of that supposed peanut flavor, I've kind of just brushed it off. But 2022 is a new year, so I'm ready to try some new things. So let's go look at this label and we'll get it into a glass. But first, I'd like to thank my executive producers, Brian Kramer, David Jeffries, Vinny Cat, and Cam Freeman for helping to bring this review to you today. If you'd like to become a producer, help out the channel, or just throw me a couple bucks to buy me a beer, take a look at my Patreon at patreon.drafttherapy.com where you can get early access and a few other special perks available only to patrons. Take a look at the label. We'll start from the top. And just to kind of throw it in there, Patreon Vinny Cat was one that, the one that kind of suggested that I try this out. I figured, all right, I'll give it a shot. So on the top, we look at the bottle cap. It has the kind of typical dancing short bottle cap, nothing really new. It's to what's to be expected. If we look at the label, there's nothing on the neck of the bottle, but as we look down, it says shorts brew in yellow or like a mustard kind of color. Underneath that, it says Uber Goober Imperial Oatmeal Stout brewed with peanuts, the smooth, the creamy, the delicious. And it has a picture of a peanut with a cape, a yellow cape that says SBC for Shorts Brewing Company and some green shorts. If they put some purple shorts, maybe they could say it was like the Hulk or some other kind of superhero, but I digress. So if we look on the side of the label here, it says brewed and bottled by Shorts Brewing Company in Elk Rapids, Michigan, handmade by people who care. And then the deposit information and the website shortsbrew, shortsbrewing.com and 12 fluid ounces on the other side is the government warning. So it's important to say that this is not a peanut butter beer, but a peanut beer. They don't claim it has peanut butter in it. They claim it has peanuts in it. So let's go ahead and crack the bottle here. And look at that nice vapor coming out of there. Well, for a second at least, and put a nose on it. Actually picking up on quite a bit of peanut, peanut butter flavor. I'm gonna say peanut butter, but just know that I mean interchangeably peanut and peanut butter. But I'm getting quite a bit of a peanut aroma. There is a little bit of a chocolatey, roasty kind of note in there. Let's go ahead and pour it. Coming really dark out of the bottle. Uh, it a little, it's a little transparent as I kind of pour a little more in the stream, gets a little bit bigger. But if we set that down, I'm getting about a finger of head. Uh, the the head is really compact. It's a little bit maybe close to like a, a, a darker kind of tan color, maybe a little bit of a darker khaki. The head has been, it's been dissipating pretty quickly though. Right now there's just kind of a fine layer around the edge. And then as you can see from the overhead, it's kind of dissipated there. If we hold it up to the light here, it is very dark, um, close border, you know, pretty much black. I see a little bit on the bulb of the glass here. It looks dark brown. It maybe a kind of shading towards red a little bit. Let's put a nose on the glass. Same thing as with the bottle. I am getting a bit of a peanut aroma, which is promising. I'm not picking so much on that kind of chocolatey note that I thought I was getting out of the bottle, but I am picking up still on a roasty note, like a roasted peanut note. So let's go ahead and try it out. Cheers. The mouthfeel is kind of right dead center in the medium. This is 8%. Uh, so I'm not expecting it to be super heavy, super syrupy by any means. It's not light. It's not crisp. It's not like a refreshing kind of mouthfeel. It definitely has that kind of dead center, medium mouthfeel. It's a little bit, a little bit creamy, but not too much. Uh, it's not like super creamy. It's just kind of like shading a little bit towards creamy. Let's go ahead and talk about the flavor here. So I have to say... I have to differentiate that there's peanut and there's peanut butter. I always thought like previously years past that Uber Goober was like a peanut butter and jelly kind of beer, like Elk Brewing's peanut butter and jelly. I thought it was kind of like in that kind of vein. And to say, I don't, let me preface everything by saying I generally, like I said in the intro, I generally don't get any kind of uh, peanut flavor, peanut butter flavor in beer. Like, and I eat admittedly, <laughs> 
more than enough peanut butter than any man should, uh, you know, admit to. But this beer, I do pick up on a little bit of a peanut flavor. It is slightly more peanut than peanut dust. Like generally peanut butter beer, I get peanut dusty kind of flavor. This one, I do get a bit of a peanut flavor, like a true traditional peanut flavor. I even let this one sit out a little bit to kind of warm up, to kind of express and open up those flavors a little bit more than I generally do because I really wanted to taste that peanut flavor. I do pick up a peanut flavor. I do not pick up peanut butter. If, if this is supposed to be peanut butter, I'm not getting that. But I do get a peanut. I do get like a roasty peanut kind of flavor out of it. Roasted nuts. Uh, I get a little bit of a roasty malty flavor in there too. And the very finish on the tail end, there's a bit of a smokiness in there. It's almost, it's that roastiness just condensed even more. So it comes out as a little bit smoky. So I am picking up on that. I'm picking up a little bit on a sweet kind of flavor. It kind of comes in right before all those roasty notes come through. So I'm thinking that's Still some more, you know, roasted malty, but maybe like a little bit of a, a light chocolate flavor in there. Not a whole lot, but just a, a really light, you know, kind of chocolatey flavor in there. And uh, I feel like the more I go through it, the more I kind of pick up, I, I can appreciate a little bit more of that roasted peanutty flavor. So I do get that. Um, again, I, I kind of... Like my dream kind of peanut beer or peanut butter beer is actually being able to get that like sticky, thick peanut butter mouthfeel, that sweetness, and maybe a bit of a roasty quality on the end. This feels to me more like a roasted peanut kind of beer. Um, definitely getting more roasted peanut notes than than peanut, just straight up peanut. I mean, that's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that's what they're going for. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I don't know what was in Joe Short or whoever came up with the recipe in their brain, so I don't know exactly what they were going for, but I feel like they were going more for that kind of roasted peanut flavor. When I look at this, though, I think seeing a peanut on here, just the way I put it together, I think of peanut butter. I don't think of peanut. I think of peanut butter, but I definitely get a peanut flavor out of here, a roasted peanut flavor. I mean, I know this has been out for years. It's come out. My only critique and my only criticism or the thing that I would look for, like, if they were to revise this, this recipe at all, I would love to see it be more peanut butter than peanut. But for being peanut, I can't complain. It definitely has those roasted peanut notes. Even for someone like me who admittedly, again, does not pick up on peanut flavor, it definitely has those notes. I would just like to see it maybe be a little bit sweeter, uh, but that's my opinion. You might enjoy it if you enjoy peanut flavor. For me, I just like to see a little bit sweeter. All right, friends, that has been Uber Goober from Shorts Brewing Company. Have you had this beer? Have you had other peanut butter flavored or peanut flavored beers you think I should try? Let me know in the comments down below while you're down there. If you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell. I'm here talking about beer twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. is all for free for viewers just like you. And you might miss your newest favorite, or you might pick up a clunker and you didn't know it because you weren't subscribed and getting those notifications. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. See you next time. Cheers.